In this tutorial, we'll be using Eclipse ID, Apache uh, Tomcat Web Server version 9, and uh, MySQL database, and MySQL connector J, which is JDBC driver for uh, MySQL. So, uh, you can download Eclipse uh, from its official website, and I'll recommend uh, that you install Eclipse ID for enterprise Java developers, and uh, there are simple steps that how to uh, run the Eclipse and then we'll go with Apache Tomcat web server uh, version 9 which is the latest version and you can just download the binary distribution here for your operating system and uh, if you do not know that how to configure Eclipse to run simple of web applications like JSP and Servlet, then you can watch my video, which is just uh, being displayed in the notification area. The link is given there, and I have also given the link in the description. And uh, after configuring this, then uh, we need to install MySQL uh, database server. So this is the official website uh, for downloading uh, MySQL uh, database server, this one. and uh, We'll go with the community edition of uh, this MySQL database and uh, according to your operating system, you can download it and you can install it. And after installation, you just need to download uh, one more thing, which is MySQL connector J. So this is the JDBC driver for MySQL. And uh, I have just downloaded uh, it here it is available on my desktop so uh, first we need to just uh, copy this file uh, at a location in our Eclipse so in our Eclipse we need to create a dynamic web project so that you can create uh, by uh, uh, in this way file new and this is dynamic web project and give the name of the web project let me take test underscore db so since it is already created so it is not taking this so just one and if you finish it then it will create a new project so i have already created a project with name test underscore db so now you need to create uh, you need to just uh, copy the file of mysql connector j into web inf and lib folder so this is the folder where you need to copy it you can simply drag the file from the uh, desktop i'm just dragging it here so this is the lib folder it is saying that i need to copy it yes and here is the file so this file is required for establishing connection with my uh, database. So now I need to create a database and uh, will create some table and uh, uh, will insert some values so that I can, I need to open a terminal or the DOS prompt if you're working on Windows then I'll just need to type here my SQL the database server I have already installed and the path of the bin directory of this MySQL is already available in my uh, path so I can access it from anywhere but if you have not set the path then you can run this command only from the bin directory of MySQL and uh, I'm giving here username is admin and it will require password the password is admin at the rate one two three so I am I've connected with my uh, SQL and I'll just see that how many databases is, have been created to show data basis and it is showing me the names of the database which are existing here so CMS and OGI are the databases that I've created and the rest of the databases are just the default ones 
so if you want to create a new database then you can go with an xyz is also a database uh, which has been created so you can create a new database with create database and name suppose i am taking the name as temp so new database has been created uh, with name temp and again if you want to see that what are the databases so temp exists here and uh, then you need to uh, select any one of these databases and if uh, if you want to work with cms database use cms and just write the name of the database semicolon and database has been changed so right now whatever query i'm i'll be writing those will be on cms database so i'll just uh, see the list of the data uh, list of the tables which are available in uh, cms so show tables cms okay just show tables and because uh, i'm already with cms so these are the tables which are existing one is products another one is users so this table i have already created if you just want to see that uh, what is there inside users table so you can just use the sql command describe users and this is the schema of users table so there i'll be working here with users table so let me see that what data exists inside this users table so i'll be using select all from users and here are the details that i have stored inside users table so there is a user id and password combinations which are existing here so i'll be using this table users table which is inside cms database to log in to the system i have created a page with name login.jsp and uh, here i'll be creating the gui for form so i'll be using here one html form and uh, for uh, alignment i'll be using table so that uh, my all the fields in the data in the form get properly aligned so i'll be using a form and table and i'll be using just user id and uh, a text field to enter user id and password a password field to get the password from the user and i'll be using a submit button uh, on the click of that button you will be going uh, to the another script and from there you will be fetching the records from the database and those records will get matched against the values that you have ins entered inside your user id and password from the form so if there is a match then you'll get entry to the system otherwise you'll get a get an error message that uh, these credentials are not uh, uh, okay so i'm just creating a form and uh, a table inside it so here is the form uh, here the method is cat so I have kept a method which is the default method to take uh, the data from client to the server and this form will be submitting to varidad.jsv uh, file and I have created a table and kept a background color of that table as red so that my form looks good and uh, in the next uh, uh, I have just created one row with uh, this tr tag and I have defined two uh, td uh, fields here. So uh, th there is just only one td field I am using here. Call span as two. So I am just merging two tds here and alignment is center and this is the title of the login form. And next one is just a, a user id text field and here it's just the text uh, adjacent to the user id then there is a password field and uh, uh, this is the password field having name pwt and these fields are required so the form cannot be submitted if these uh, any of these fields is uh, blank and next is just uh, submit button that i'll be clicking on to take the control to this validate.jsp 
so let me run it on server okay it needs to be saved and then it is running the server is is getting restarted server got restarted and here is the GUI for form so there is user ID and there is password field so whatever data I'll be entering here if I leave any of these fields as blank so I can now submit the form and uh, this is coming just uh, keeping attribute uh, required inside uh, this uh, input type text so now uh, this uh, data has to be submitted on another script which is validate.jsp so what is happening on that script let's uh, understand that so this is another page which is validate.jsp so in the first line I have just imported uh, two packages so I am importing java.sql and java.io package and uh, what I'm doing, I'm just reading the data which is coming from the form. So there is request.get parameter. So this is user ID and password. So these are the just the names of the user ID and password fields on my form. And the request is uh, one of the nine uh, built in objects of, uh, uh, of uh, JSP service method. So uh, inside variable u and p, I'm getting whatever I have entered in the form and uh, I've used here try catch blocks because the code I've written here generates uh, checked exception so that needs to be caught and the exception is SQL exception what is happening here in the first step I'm just loading the driver class so the package that uh, I have just included here which is in the form of uh, the just uh, jar file so this will contain uh, all of these packages and this driver class so it is just getting loaded and uh, class dot for name is the method which is loading this uh, particular class and uh, in the next step I'll be creating a connection and this connection is being established with uh, this database the name of the database is CMS that I just created and uh, MySQL by default uh, operates on port number 0306 and these are the credentials of user ID and password admin is the user ID and this is the password and uh, this statement connection and result set so these are the interfaces available in uh, JDBC API so here I'm creating a statement that will help me uh, to execute my SQL query so the statement is being created here and then there is result set so result set is something which is holding uh, the the result of this uh, select query so I'm selecting all the records from this uh, users table and those records are being stored inside variable RS so result set uh, is holding this in entire table now what I'll I'll do I'll just check whether the values that I'm reading from uh, this form which is U and P whether there is a combination existing in the database that matches exactly the U and P inside the user ID and password fields of the uh, table users so here I have created uh, two strings UID and password and they'll fetch the data from database for every row for every row there will be user id field and password field so that will just uh, get stored here and it needs to be matched against UNP so I have set here a flag which will, which will uh, just tell me that uh, whether a match was found or the credentials do not exist in the database so rs.next this loop will execute until there are uh, new rows in the uh, result set that we have just fetched as a result of this select query and user ID is having just the first field of the first row and uh, I'm using here get string function because the user ID is of type varchar 
so had it been of type uh, uh, integer then I would have used as get int so whatever is the type uh, type I need to mention it here and I'm just checking this uh, u against uid and p against uh, pid and uh, if the match is found then I'll just display a message that welcome the name of the user user id and I'll key flag as one because it is just signifying that mesh uh, was found and user has been allowed to uh, enter the system and I'll just break the loop so the control will simply uh, come out of this loop and if flag is having zero it means that this particular condition never uh, held true and uh, uh, there was no combination of user id and password which is matching the uh, user id and password fields in the user's table so if it is it is the case in that case uh, we need to display the message that id or password is incorrect and uh, uh, the user can retry and will be redirected to login.jsv page so let's see that how this entire uh, system works so I'm entering here test and test because this record exists uh, in my database so these are the records which are available in the database so test and test combination is existing so I just enter here and it has been redirected to validate.jsp and since I used uh, method as uh, get so here you can see that data which is coming to the server has been appended in the url so to make this uh, url secure then you should use method equals to post and if this combination is not correct so if, if i provide any value then you are getting a message id or password is incorrect and you can retry so it will again redirect you to the login page